Hey everybody, my name is Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you a video on the books I'm going to be reading next year in 2022. Can't believe that I'm saying that. So I've compiled a list of books, of books I own. I could include books that aren't released yet that I probably will read next year but the whole point of this is that I'm trying to read the books off of my shelves so I'm just picking 10 books off of my shelves for the year that hopefully I'll be able to get to. So the first book that I'm going to share with you is Uglies by Scott Westerveld. This was in my first ever book haul. I decided to choose this because one it's like a dystopian novel, two I've had it since the beginning journey of booktube and it would be great to get this one read. This book has also been pushed forward from 2021 because I didn't find time to read it but I do want to actually give it a read. This is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevart. So this is the first book that's in the Raven Cycle series. Yes, it's very popular on BookTube and yeah I would like to give it a read and hope that I do enjoy it. I've owned it for so long and it's about time that I do give it a read. The next book that I would like to read is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This is the brand new book by this very author and I hear really really good things about this book from what I've seen on my social media and yeah I'm hoping that I do enjoy it. I love my books with vampires in so I don't really know what I'm going to think about it and I hope that I do actually enjoy this. I know this is like his, like one of his adult books although I am told that Never Night is also an adult book series as well so what I hear anyway but this is definitely like one of his like adult books and it's recently acquired for me so I would like to give this a read next year hopefully. The next book that I would like to read in 2022 is The Handover by David M. Barnett. I actually found this in the Works bookshop. It was part of their three for five pound deal but it sounds really really interesting about these two people that work different shifts at a museum. One is like a security guard, the other one works the day and it's about like them handing over stuff to each other like throughout the shift and then it becomes like a conversation and then a bonding and I just really like the sound of this one. It's very, I don't know, it gave me sort of like Night of the Museum vibes with the museum thing but yeah I feel like this would be a fun read to have. Also to read next year would be The Kissing Booth Going the Distance. This is the second book. This is by Beth Recalls, the Netflix TV show. I've watched all three movies, love them all. The first book that I read is very different to the TV show in certain ways. So I'm not sure where this second book's gonna go, whether this is also gonna have a little bit of difference in it too. But yeah, Will got me this for Christmas and I said that I would give this a read hopefully in January. So yeah, fingers crossed I do get around to reading it. And yeah, it's a contemporary book series that is a, like a brother's, yeah, wait, a brother's brother <laughs> romance, yeah. So like, it's her best friend's brother. So yeah, like really cute romance. So look forward to seeing where this one's gonna take me. Also another book that Will got me for Christmas is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I've wanted to read this for quite a while. It was really nice that we saw this in the bookshop and Will bought this for me. Really, really nice and kind of him. So it is LGBT because I believe it's a girl, girl romance. And yeah, I would like to give this a read. This is the author of Red, White, Royal Blue, which I did struggle to get into. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna like how am I going to go about with this one? I just like the sound of it and I've heard good things. So I'm hoping that I do enjoy this one. Another book that Will got me for Christmas was XOXO by Axio. Another really, 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 really big book that I wanted to get that Will got for me. We literally walked around Waterstones and I was like, I want this, I want this, I want this. Like, And he was like, I'll get it all for you for Christmas. Such a good lad. So ever since like having this on my 
wish list and then it being released I was just like I really want it and then I saw it and I was like oh my goodness I love the cover to this as well beautiful beautiful cover but yeah it's got K drama vibes in this and yeah I'm really really highly anticipating this book another book that I would like to get to to be honest is the series in general and I've literally just picked this one up as like a representation but I just want to continue on with the Shadowhunter books I have only read like I think one in the year 2021 which is a little bit pitiful because I do want to catch up with the series and like with all the other series and the spin-off series and all that I love the Shadowhunter world any Shadowhunter book that Cassandra Kerr brings out is an auto buy for me so I'm holding up City of Heavenly Fire here but I am up to this book now anyway because I have finished the Infernal Devices and I'm reading this in like publication order so this is the next book in line and then I've got like the Bane Chronicles and I'm kind of debating whether to read the Bane Chronicles before this or not but yeah I've literally got this series and then I have got two of the other series as well with Lady Midnight Lord of Shadows and I've got the Chain of Iron books as well yeah I'm really really behind but I love all these books so so much so I would like to get to some Shadowhunter books next year my next book I would like to get to in 2022 is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I should be receiving the sequel hopefully roughly around January. I've got the Fairy Loot I think edition that's coming and it is delayed. It was meant to arrive December because it was released but there is trouble with the shipping or, or something so it should be arriving hopefully January sometime. I can't remember if it's like Yelena McRae or Fairy Loot so do forgive me on that but yeah the sequel to this I should have soon this is kind of like Romeo and Juliet retelling sort of thing and I hear really good things about it so I would like to get this read and I'm hoping I can get this read in January the final book that is on this list is The House of Earth and Blood Crescent City by Sarah J Pass. this is the first book the sequel is coming out next year I would like to get this read before then I want to be on the bandwagon with everybody else everybody has said that this book is absolutely amazing I don't think I've seen any bad reviews myself of this book but all I've heard is really really good things about this book and I think it won a Goodreads Choice Award for fantasy, I want to say, or young adult fantasy, or yeah, fantasy or young adult. So sorry, but yeah, I have massive high hopes for this one, and I look forward to giving it a read. So there you have it, guys. Those are all of the books that I would like to read next year. I'm hoping that I can get to these during the year one of these a month should be like easily doable I have tried to pick books I really really do want to read whether it's like books I've recently acquired series that I want to continue read because a sequel is coming out I don't want to fall behind in 2022 I want to be like ahead of the game so I'm really happy with these book choices and I'm gonna try and stick by them as best as I possibly can and I would do exactly what I did last in um, 2021 and put these books in the grab machine and that way if the grab machine does come up in my TBR then it will grab out a book from that and give it get it read and you know if the grab machine doesn't come out then I'll try and select a book from that list anyway to go towards like a different prompt or something like that so hoping that I can stick to these and yeah I'm really excited about all of these books so if you've read any of these books do let me know down below in the comments what you thought about them i hope you guys have liked this video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do let me know down below in the comments but yeah thank you so much for watching this video as always keep smiling get really and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you one of awesome people in my next video bye